Sup guys, it's your boy Farwild and today we're doing the part time in the Halo 3 ODST campaign Mission number Trez or 3 and this is Kizingo Boulevard And so right off the bat you want to come down this slope here in the road and you want to get into the uh, Scorpion tank now um, This tank here is going to be a large part of the mission So you want to make sure you get this bit right and get in it and make sure it doesn't take any damage from the Wraith over the road as you can see there now, the wraiths normally take about two to three shots to uh, to kill. And I must add, um, when you're getting into the scorpion, make sure you take out the driver rather than the guy on the turret. Because if you do that, um, if you get in the um, turret instead, it, uh, uh, the AI driving is quite frankly disgraceful. And um, yeah, you just don't want to do that as it wastes loads of time. As you see there, just went past the wraith. And the best tip I can give you on this particular mission is just keep driving forward. <laughs> As we're on normal difficulty here, it's going to take something quite big to actually destroy um, your Scorpion tank. And... As you can see, I went past, I think that was two, I destroyed two ghosts and a wraith during that. The wraiths take about two to three shots um, to get down. And the reason I say is keep on driving is because, especially in this bit with the shade turrets, if you don't, if you stop driving, you're just painting a massive target on your uh, on your scorpion to get naded, to get hit by projectiles. And quite frankly, it's, <laughs> it's not a very good thing to do. Seeing as the, um, uh, the shade turrets actually do an extraordinary amount of damage. So you've got to wait for the door to open there, unfortunately, and you can hear the cries of a uh, a player. Du uh, it's Dutch, yeah, Dutch, your friend Dutch. And um, you need to go and pick him up. So what you need to do is destroy the race first, otherwise the cutscene won't continue. And I think there are two to three races here. I think there might be only two uh, at the start as you come in, and there might uh, be one more that joins later. I actually can't remember particularly well. So my race on fire, uh, the Scorpion's on fire right now, but that's no problem because... You, uh, I don't use it from this point onwards, uh, so that's okay. So you want to walk up here, get to uh, old Dutcho, and um, you actually find, I think you can get a rocket launcher in this bit. And you just want to hold off the enemies, there you go, you, you got it in your secondary. Just hold off the enemies for a few seconds, getting that overkill and the running riot medal there. And you um, you just want to hold out this area bef um, until the door opens. You can't open it yourself, as, as you see there, I try. It says checkpoint done. And I think that signals that the uh, the door will open in a uh, in short time. So yeah, all I can say really is just hold off uh, hold off the enemies. You're not going to die if you stay up here. I, I shoot the ghost down from here, as you see. Pretty uh, pretty uh, lucky shot, I guess you could say. And um, yeah, see the yellow lights mean that the door is about to open. There it goes. Right, this bit. You're met by a a, f f um, a full sword, I think the word is of enemies anyway, and. Uh, basically, you want to get past that first brute. Hopefully, it won't turn and shoot you still. And uh, there's another brute there. And then you want to go off to the left. There's another brute. So that's three brutes at this one bit. Pick up his um, <clears throat> brute shot for your uh, rocket launcher. And here, you, you have to jump down. So there's no point going up there like I did that. And you get to this bit and meet up with your fellow marines. Where you should pick up a sniper rifle. As I do there. Um, very handy for this bit. And you're going to have to face off against a number of waves of enemies. So the sniper is really important on this particular mission. Because when the enemies drop. As you can see I'm making my way over to the left hand side. And um, when the enemies drop. They actually. Uh, there's, there's jackal snipers that run up the left hand side. So the sniper is basically key for you to uh, take those out before they start doing heavy damage to you. As you can see, your sniper has 24 shots when you first pick it up. A lot of ammo for a sniper rifle, especially in campaign, I wouldn't expect that. And as you can see here, I'm just taking out the brutes and the uh, jackals to allow Dutch to walk over here because I, I think that you actually need Dutch over here for the cutscene to start. So I'm just painting him a pathway of dead bodies for him to uh, make his way down here. So perhaps it wasn't a particularly good idea from me running past them so perhaps you need to take them out first um, but remember this is part time not a speed run um, so you're not gonna um, so I'm not gonna be doing all the tips and tricks and stuff like that here comes the uh, the phantom for some reason it didn't let me shoot the bro before it got out and um, but that's something that I do recommend as if you can't shoot them uh, as they're in the thing shoot them as they're jumping out as you saw there I managed to take out that brute before his feet even touched the ground and uh, pulling off a few 
um, no scopes on the brutes there. Stay in this um, little bubble shield that the uh, brute had. Very good way of uh, keeping cover from that wraith in the distance. Now, to pro to proceed, you need to take out the wraith. And now, the way I do it is I take out the gunner first, the brute uh, the brute gunner. Because he's the one that does most damage to you. The uh, the long range shells that they fire, they can be uh, they can be dealt with relatively easy as if you're a player because they, it's it's going to take quite a lot of hits for them to kill you, and they don't actually aim particularly well. As you can see here, I made a mistake earlier with not taking out the jackal sniper, so I'm wasting precious time doing that. Now I don't know why the counter in the top right is broken in terms of um, why I'm uh, like the time I'm taking to do stuff. It was like that at the beginning, if you had noticed. As you can see, hit markers absolutely destroying that jack. I don't even know what was happening there. Um, but Halo 3 hit detection obviously isn't the greatest. And that may have been what caused the um, uh, me not to hit the brute earlier. So if that happens to you, uh, it's just random base, isn't it? So here the Wraith is still shooting at me. And you need to clear out all these enemies. There's no way past it. You have to clear them all out as quick as possible. There are three snipers, uh, jackals that walk up the left hand side. The sniper is good for taking them out. And as you can see here, pick up a plasma pistol that, uh, that a grunt managed to drop. And of course, very effective as it obviously stuns the vehicle. Now if I had taken out the, um, uh, the gunner, I wouldn't have had this problem where I take heavy damage from the gunner as I uh, as I go up to it. Now you get the achievement there for hand uh, single-handedly like destroying a wraith with your hands. That <laughs> that was a thing. Uh, and you just want to clear out the rest of the enemies. Jackals are fairly easy. And I'm here. I'm just like okay. I, I get this uh, grunt here, and I'm like okay. Mission uh, should be done. But there's normally a couple of enemies that that hang around for a bit and it's really frustrating just trying to find them because like you don't know where they are and you're looking around looking around for a bit and uh, eventually I do actually find the grunt which is hanging around on the uh, right hand side to me now and you walk up to the door and I'm like oh I should be done oh stupid grunt but I turn to the right here and I do actually uh, do actually f locate the man himself and as soon as you pop the last enemy um, just make your way back up towards Dutch and that would be the end of the mission so guys if you have liked it, this, if you have liked the video, like the like the video. <laughs> um, comment any improvements you suggest that I should make to this series, and subscribe if you're new. Other than that, guys, loving the support, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace out.